What's up, YouTube? Just made some dinner here, finished up some steak and our uh, daily zero sugar root beer. Bro, that's a cheat code. I'm telling you, it's the, it's the gains, the hacks. Uh, the hacks, the gains, not the gains, the hacks. No lifting today. We just did some impulses. Uh, our gym was pretty packed. Dave was pretty busy. So I was trying to set up the camera and do uh, what kind of like a recovery day looks like today. But uh, just wasn't wasn't working there. Um, so we, uh, we ripped arms today, did a bunch of impulse stuff for the hips, and then BP'd. Uh, quick BP session today. We have a we have a tournament tomorrow, hit tracks tournament tomorrow. I'm gonna bring this mic and then record some of the hits and, and talk about some of the things that I'm feeling there tomorrow. So that'd be cool. See how that content turns out. But uh still balancing how to do daily thoughts with um with the lifting. And honestly, I think I might just post the video and not say label it as daily thoughts, but just do we have a daily video and then once a week I will cover a long form thing. So that's kind of how I'm going to do it approaching. Let me know if that's a bad idea or if you want actual daily thoughts and then actual lifting. But like yesterday's was 39 minutes long and I felt like I talked to you guys for 39 minutes. So I don't know if you guys need to hear me more on a date like that. But on today's daily thought, and I was thinking about this and this is something that I'm doing right now, but the power of rifting, I think is something that is very, goes under the radar and is something that our culture does not allow for people to do anymore. Phone just went 20%. Um, like obviously of the cancel culture, but you just have people just so nervous. It's it's not even like the cancel culture. It's more so like, especially young males, like they're, they're unsure of their ability. They don't want to get um, shunned from a group. They don't want to look silly. They don't want to look wrong. Uh, people don't want to look wrong. Um, and when you are wrong, you, it gets held against you. Feel like it gets held against you forever. And for a lot of people it does. And one of the things that I was thinking about when I was always making yesterday's video, it's like how many good ideas you get from just talking to people uh, and, and working on ideas. Like I have ideas that pop up into my head all the time. I'm like, that idea is not 100% set in stone, but the only way I'm going to work out that idea is by talking to whoever I am. The camera helps talking to you guys, talking to a friend. And not always trying to perfect and clean up all of your ideas, but just literally shoot that idea out there. And the more you treat things like that, like a video game, like it is, and the faster you get those ideas out there, and obviously in, in the right setting, like if you're applying for a job, you probably want to have your shit tied up a little bit more. And we'll talk about that towards the end of like how to tie these ideas up. But when you're with groups of friends, when you're with, when you're with people, like rift, like work on these ideas, work on these thoughts, bounce back ideas you guys can be completely wrong. And, and that's a big part of it too, is just like, when you're done with that rift, you can just admit that you were wrong. The, the amount of times where I'm like, I, that was just a dumb idea, which just wasn't there. Like, I, I thought there was something there. I thought there was a, there was a, a seed of truth there. And there really wasn't. It was an interesting thought that came to my head. We talked it out and there was nothing there. And then we established that there was nothing in, in that thought process rather than just sitting with that. But I feel like so many people are unwilling to admit that they could be wrong. So when they say something, they solidify that statement. Like I stand here. This is the only thing that I can think. And for the rest of their life, I hold on to that identity. And I just, I don't think that's, I think you lose a lot of power of creativity there and working on these different connection, connecting points. And if you look in the musician game, like you, you see it all the time, the comedy game, I was just watching a clip with uh, Joe Rogan um, and he's with uh, Bobby Lee. And he was talking about how he does, how he does his joke writing. And every single day he'll sit on a piece of computer or a piece of, on his computer and he's just typing and he's like a lot of days won't hit, uh, but we're just typing, typing and, and you'll type and you get to a point where you're like, oh, there's a lot there. there. There's something there. And then you just grab that piece. But and that's what I view rifting as with, with your friends and with a piece of paper, with your writing. It's you just keep writing. You just say a bunch of stuff, work out these ideas and there's gold there. There's gold to be found, but so many people don't find that gold because they're never willing to put those ideas out there. They're never willing to be wrong. They're never willing to like take a step out of their comfort zone uh, to rift in that setting, to, to play with some of these ideas. And if you take that into the movement world, that's what I think play is. It's, it's, it's that psychedelic like effect of you're goofing around, you're exploring different things. Uh, you're trying a bunch of different stuff and most of what you're trying is going to be garbage or just not it. But certain times you will be in that play setting and you will do something differently and it'll be an aha moment. It'll be, oh, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, that's what I was trying to feel. Oh, this is a much better way to do this. But in our current setting of strength conditioning and sport performance, it's you have to do it this way 
looking this way on this time at the at this at this moment in time it's like i'm thinking about like hitting a slant right like you have to throw it at this perfect spot um and then there's never there's never really a breakthrough moment for these athletes it's just the ones that naturally get it get it and the ones that don't don't so i really believe there's a, there's a power to that playful ability one in your words one in your ideas working on that so that's the general principle of it. it's like rift with your ideas rift with your words i think having an account when i'm uh talking to people about how to get better at posting how to get a uh, better posting schedule how to get more creative with memes i think posting on an account that you don't have your main followers so like right now my main account is instagram okay the Austin Yoakum page. The, the, I have a Yoakum strength page that allows me to rift. I, I put memes out there. I work on things because there's not as many followers there. There's not as much pressure there. And I can go a little bit more on the fringe of things. And every single time I go on the fringe of things in the, the less pressure situation, I'm able to be like, oh, this is what I want to do there. And I can clean it up and pl apply it to the Austin Yoakum page. And that that's a nice way for people to get rolling with their social media is post on an account that's not yours, post on the anonymous account, post on the, uh, if your main stuff is on Instagram, post on Twitter uh, and work on ideas there. And every single time, once you start to rift, once you start to play with these ideas, you realize, oh, this is what I meant to say, but you were stuck in this constrained model, same as sports, you're stuck in that constrained model, so you're doing the same thing over and over again. And you never have something that breaks you out of that. And once you get broken out of it, it's like, memes have been a game changer for, for my own page and for my own business of, people following, people buying programs, people being interested, my ability to communicate a message in a way that I find humorous or a way that is two steps removed from just being straight in front of your face. And I found that by playing around with ideas, with rifting ideas on the Yoakum Strength page and going to the extremes. And I think you can do that with your friends. I think you can do that with your your words and ideas, with with, with your movement, if you just set yourself up in the right way. So that that's my that's my thought of the day rifting here on this as well don't have this completely solidified but i was i was walking and i really thought about the power of that how many good ideas i get when i'm talking about things on the fringe of my abilities like and i think that's another thing too it's like on the fringe of what i actually understand and i'm working back and forth with somebody and a little part of me is bsing a little part of me is working on an idea i don't have fully fronted and that can go so many bad directions. It can go so many directions where I'm just like, I'm just totally wrong. I'm just totally off. I'm just, I just totally don't have an answer to their question. But it's so much better to go there in, in the right setting and then grab and realize and either go study what you feel like you didn't have studied or like, oh, that was actually a great line of thought that I had when I was playing those ideas. I can go work with that. And what I find a lot of people do is we stay in our only line of thought that we understand. Like, I noticed this a lot on my podcast when I was talking. It's I know how to get a clean podcast now. I, I know enough answers. I know enough questions. I can go autopilot and get a clean podcast, a clean hour. I can get guests to kind of say what I want them to say. I can say my talking points. I can get them to say their talking points. And we are all comfortable and everybody feels good. But it's never really that exponential, oh, we both actually went somewhere and learned something there. And maybe that's what I'm trying to get with this rifting thing is just like, go on the fringe, like it, be okay with leaving that comfort zone of, I need to say this thing because this is what I'm known for. And I feel like you'll find people greatly appreciate that those genuine conversations and that journey with you, whether you're right or wrong. And again, if you are wrong, just admit you're wrong at the end and be like, that wasn't exactly how I wanted uh, to work on this. I can go work. I can go craft this idea in a better way and say what I actually want to say. And we, we have that freedom as long as we take that freedom. And I feel like in our society, we're not taking that freedom. So go rift, go work on some of these ideas. Don't be scared to, to work through ideas. Don't stick in your comfort zone because your, your comfort zone will always be there when it's like a job interview and it's the last, like the last second on the clock and you need to do what you're comfortable doing. You can go do that. But most of life should be in this exploration type pattern until you really are forced into this survival mode or win or nothing mode. But I feel like so many people sit in that win or nothing mode for their entire careers, for their entire lives in moments when it's not actually win or nothing. So you stay the same person for much longer than you need to. You sit with the same ideas for much longer than you need to. And I think there's a better way. So we got a concert tonight. I just finished up steak. Like I said earlier, finished up dinner. I'm about to go shower. Um, I'll get this posted and then 
go hit the concert. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, tomorrow's the Hit Tracks tournament, and I'll talk to you guys then. Boom.